The boy curiously licked the expensive caviar leftover from the rich man's meal. Next second, he discovered that caviar, which was highly sought after by the rich, was so difficult to swallow. The young Paul instantly understood that food was just a symbol of status and power for the rich. They don't care if the food tastes good. This event changed Paul's life. With his unremitting efforts, he finally became a famous chef. The rich people who looked down on him now line up to beg him to cook. He runs a restaurant called Hungry. Speciosity is the characteristic of this restaurant. They only cook exotic and gorgeous dishes. It happens that the restaurant is short of a chef who is good at stir-frying. Stir-frying is is very particular about the heat, so he asked the assistant chef to go outside to find the wild cook. This woman who is shaking the spoon is the seed player. She has been frying rice noodles for many years. The rice noodles she stir fries are chewy and delicious. The sous chef just took a taste. Just put down the spoon and walk towards Molly, then tell her you're wasting your talent by staying here. Molly didn't want to pay attention to him, but she still accepted the business card out of courtesy. Going home in the evening, Molly used the computer to search for the name on the business card. Only then did she realize that this restaurant had such a big background. The dining guests are all dignitaries from all walks of life and it takes more than a year to make an appointment. Molly is very excited about this rare opportunity, so Molly took the first step bravely. Follow the sous chef to the restaurant for an interview. Also competing with him is Pat from the professional chef school. The topic is very simple, egg fried rice. Pat couldn't help but lament that it was too simple. He confidently walked to the refrigerator and took out all kinds of top quality ingredients, and Molly only took a little leftover rice and two eggs. Both of them are very skilled in their movements. Pat is methodical, neither fast nor slow. He slowly stir fries various ingredients over low heat in turn. On the contrary, Molly chose to stir fry over high heat. Soon their egg fried rice will be ready. Paul only glanced at Pat's luxurious egg fried rice. Then he stretched his spoon straight towards Molly's simple version of egg fried rice. He came closer and smelled. Then he told Pat to get out of here.